This is part 9 of ASP.NET Web API tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss implementing put method in ASP.NET Web API. So let's flip to Visual Studio now. Within our employees controller, let's include a method for put. This method is going to be public, written type void, and the name of the method is put. This method is going to have two input parameters, the ID of the employee whose details we want to update and the employee object with which we want to update. We will also have to tell where the data for this employee object is coming from. It's going to come from the request body, so let's decorate the employee parameter with from body attribute. And the first thing that we want to do within our put method is create an instance of our employee DB entities class. Let's name this entities. And then we want to find the employee whose details we want to update using the ID that is coming into this method as a parameter. Let's create a variable first. Let's call this entity equals entities dot employees dot first dot default e such that e dot id equals the id that is coming into the method as a parameter. Once we have the employee, we have to update the properties of this entity with the properties of this employee object. So entity dot first name equals employee dot first name. Similarly, we will have to populate the rest of the properties. So last name equals last name, gender equals gender, and salary equals salary. And finally, we want to call save changes method. So entities dot save changes. And now let's give our solution a build. Build succeeded. Now let's flip to Fiddler and issue put request. The first thing that we are going to do is change the HTTP verb to put and we want to update employee with id equals 1. And within our request body, we'll have to include the data with which we want to update. So basically, we're changing first name to Mark1, last name to Hastings1, gender to female, and salary to 100,000. Here, we are sending JSON formatted data. We will have to tell that to the server. We tell that by using content type header. The value for this is going to be application for slash JSON. Let's execute this. Request completed. Now let's quickly check if the record is updated. Notice employee record with ID equals one is updated. So this code is working as expected, but there are two problems with this. First, because the return type of this method is void, look at the status code that we are getting back. We are getting back 204, no content. When an update is successful, we should be returning status code 200 OK, which indicates to the user that the update is successful. That's our first problem. The second problem comes when we try to update an employee whose ID does not exist. Let's look at that in action. Let's try to update employee with ID equals 101. We don't have such an employee. Let's execute this. Look at the status code that we are getting back. We are getting back 500 internal server error. We are getting this status code because of an exception. And if you want to know the type of exception that has occurred, click on the JSON tab. And we are getting here null reference exception. We are getting this null reference exception because of this line of code right here. So here we are trying to find an employee with ID equals 101. We don't have such an employee. So entity is going to be null. And on a null object, we are trying to retrieve first name property value, which obviously is going to throw null reference exception. And because of this null reference exception, we are getting that 500 internal server error status code. When an employee is not found, we should be returning status code 404, which basically tells the user that the employee that we are trying to update does not exist. So let's see how to fix both of these problems. The first thing that I'm going to do here is change the return type of this method to HTTP response message. And here, let's check if the entity is null. If the entity is null, we want to return HTTP status code 404 not found. So return request dot create error response HTTP status code not found and the message is going to be employee with ID 
equals whatever is the ID of the employee. So we have the ID coming into the method as a parameter. So basically the message here is going to be not found to update. All right. On the other hand, if the entity is not null, then we want to go ahead and update the employee details. So which is what this piece of code right here is going to do. Now once the update is successful, we want to return 200 OK. So return request.create response, HTTP status code OK, and the updated entity. Let's wrap all of this code inside a try block. If at all, if there is any exception executing the code that we have in the try block, we want to handle that. So let's catch the exception. And here, let's return request.create error response http status code dot bad request and also the exception all right so let's build a solution build succeeded now let's flip to fiddler and issue another post request let's try to update employee whose id does not exist notice now we are getting status code 404 not found and if you look at the message it says employee with ID equals 101 not found to update now let's see what happens if we try to update an employee whose ID exists let's update employee with ID equals 2 request completed let's quickly check if that record is updated notice employee record with ID equals 2 is updated and now if we look at the status code it's 200 OK Here's the code for the put method. Thank you for listening and have a great day.